In this video, how to make a redirect in PHP. Now, a lot of the stuff that we build is in WordPress. And so there is a way to do a redirect in WordPress with the WP underscore redirect function that's built into WordPress. But we're not talking about that function. We're talking about going back to the raw root language of PHP and doing a redirect in PHP. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in this video. Let's get started. So here on the Idea Pro IO example page, um, we have our code here and we've built this page that's just a standalone PHP page. Now this site is WordPress, but we're not bringing in WordPress into this site. So we've got our example page here and we want to redirect this page on page load to another page. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put in header, location, and then we're going to redirect to example2.php, okay? So now we need to create a new file, example2.php, and we need to save that and we're going to open some PHP tags here and we're gonna say, this is page two. Okay, and so now our example is gonna do nothing but redirect it to that next page. And there we are, we're on this is page two. Now, if we would have left in here at the top, if we would have said, Welcome to the example page. And we came back over here and we went back to the example page. Let's go to example. There we go. It's still going to push us to that example two page, but there is instances where echoing anything out to the page could cause a headers already sent to the page. So. Typically, anything that's displayed on the page, you don't want it to be displayed on the page if you're using the header location to redirect a page. So in this case, it's just PHP, so it says, don't worry about it. Now, after this redirect here, we wanna say die, or we could even use exit. So either one of these, both of them do basically the exact same thing. It just depends on which one you wanna use, die or exit, it doesn't really matter. The reason why you wanna do that is because, let's say you have this in an if statement, right? And you say if is set, let's do this, is set post name, Right? If, if the post exists, redirect to the next page. Else, welcome. So let's take these out. Take those out for a second. Okay, so now we come back over here to the example page and boom. It says welcome because we haven't submitted a, a form, a post. So if we didn't have die or exit after this and we had code down here that ran, you know, if that was a function or something like that that um, did something and we didn't put die up here, PHP may, ren may continue on faster than it will redirect you to that next page and it could run the code that's down here. So it's important to, after the redirect, either use the exit or die function to stop PHP from doing anything further because you're already telling it to redirect to this page. So it's going to do that but dying or exiting at the, after that is gonna keep it from continuing on down the page. This was a quick, simple video, but it's 
one that I use all the time. I, you know, I use the header function to redirect pages after, you know, a submit or something like that. After someone's logged in, you know, and it captures their login and then redirects them back to an account page or something like that. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and commenting, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.